Hi there, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, let me just say hello. My name is Len Wolston. I am a sci-fi fantasy writer, vlogger, and nerd, and welcome to my channel. So as you can see from last week to this week, I have grown some horns, but there's good reason for that. Last week we talked about writing sci-fi and the elements to writing sci-fi and this week I wanted to go ahead and talk about writing fantasy. So with that I'm also going to give you my five elements that you'll need when you're writing fantasy and with that I just wanted to give another shout out to this amazing book right here which is called The Guide to Writing Fantasy and Science Fiction by Philip Athens which definitely inspires this video as well as last week's video. So if you didn't check out last week's video, I'll go ahead and put a link below so you can check that out. And now let's go ahead and get into writing that fantasy. So first of all, what is fantasy? Fantasy is a genre in which there are imaginative worlds, characters, and all alike in which you are able to make the readers want to believe in the impossible. I kind of like to think of it as your imagination on steroids. So with that in mind, I wanted to go ahead and give you my five elements to writing fantasy. And without further ado, here we go. Number one, quests. Your main character is going to go on a quest in which they are hoping to obtain what they most need and want by the end of the story. With that, you're also going to want to include side quests. These side quests are also crucial because it allows you to have more of the character's ability to adapt to the world around them, all while attaining something that's going to help them in their main quest. Either way, you're going to find that they're going to be on this quest, whether it is in an epic fantasy or even an urban fantasy, where there is some objective that they have to overcome. Number two, magic. Including magic into fantasy is crucial because it's what readers expect. And this is where instead of it being like in the scientific realm, with fantasy, you get to unleash things that we cannot explain, but we're willing to believe in. So with that, create some amazing magic that will take your readers into a whole nother dimension that they've never seen before, all while it driving your story. Including magic in your story is so important because it's something that we as humans all think about. All thinking about what ability that we would want to have. And in your story, you're able to utilize characters to make it so that the reader gets to live vicariously through them. So definitely wield some awesome magic so that we as a reader can experience it to feel like we are greater than we are. I mean, let's face it. We're all muggles just wishing that we could be at Hogwarts. Number three, legends and prophecies. So within your fantasy story, you're going to want to have some legend or prophecy that is going to be fulfilled or is going to help your character along the way. Think about a lot of the epic fantasies in which legend has it that there is some savior or chosen one that is going to help the people of the land or the future generations. It is also crucial to include a character that's going to deliver this legend or prophecy. So cue elderly wizard. Number four, mythical beings. So yes, here's where you get to unleash the Kraken. This is where you get to have mermaids and dragons and a whole bunch of different creatures that we haven't exactly come to terms with them being real, but that's okay. Within fantasy, you can get away with that. And that's where you can have the creative outlet to think of these creatures that we've never even seen before or do a blend mashup like a griffin that is a combination of an eagle and a lion. And how cool is that? <laughs> so with that, go ahead and include creatures, even if they play a small part, to bring that whimsy and that wonder to your story. And lastly, number five, a hint of reality. Although you're writing fantasy, and yes, a lot of it is made up, there has to be a hint of reality that readers can connect with. So with that, you wanna create characters that themselves are something that we can identify with. So maybe there's sibling rivalry and it's going to lead to a war, or maybe there is a love triangle that we are just going to 
just fangirl about and choose a side. Either way, you want some aspect of the characters to be relatable or something in the world that we can relate to in this world. You can get away with it in urban fantasy by referring to what we know as the current world, um, but you can also bring elements to it by, again, focusing on the characters as people that we can cheer for, that we can identify with, even people that we hate. Bring that into your story so that we can relate to it, but want to be pushed and expect more of what we know as reality. If you're a writer that is struggling with that awful writer's block, or you just need some inspiration for a new story, then I urge you to check out hashtag spark prompts, which is a collection of writing prompts that I post on Mondays on my blog, which I'll go ahead and leave a link down below so you can see what the past ones have been and the future ones to help you with that writing. Okay, well that wraps up this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and you can ring that bell so you never miss any of my videos. If you have any questions or comments about this video, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below, and I will definitely check them out. With that, I hope you guys have a great day. Keep writing, keep reading, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!